is the residence of Fred Finchley. He's a family man who enjoys the peace and quiet of his little home. Fred Finchley has a good job. Freddy, look. And his family enjoys their standard of living. His salary keeps up with the cost of living, and he owns some of those work-saving appliances we all admire so much. Finchley always checks to make sure he gets his money's worth. But after paying his bills, taxes, keeping up his savings account, and life insurance premiums, there never seems to be enough money left to pay for that special dream. But there's a time for dreaming, and a time for working. So every workday morning, Finchley joins the stream of traffic that flows toward his job. As you can see, Finchley could not be called a reckless character. But he always gets to work. Right on time. Finchley! Yes, Jetty B? Finchley, I've wanted to speak to you for some time. You're doing a fine job. I'm raising your salary $60 a month. Have a cigar. Thanks for the good work, Finchley. Well, uh, uh, gee. Thanks, J.B., for the cigar and, and the raise. Sixty bucks a month. Boy, can I use it. Sure you can, Mr. Finchley. But how? How? Yes, what will you do with those extra dollars? There are lots of things you could do. Bury it in a tin can in the backyard, for instance. But idle money may in time depreciate. Or you could spend it on a couple of nights out a week with the wife. This seems like a lot of fun. But with this kind of life, you'd depreciate. So why not put your money to work? Put my money to work? That's right, Mr. Finchley. You can own a share of American business. There are over 1,200 companies listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Companies which employ more than 11 million people, produce half of all the goods made in America, and pay about half the nation's dividends. Many of these companies have been paying dividends for 25 years or longer. Wait a minute, I'm no tycoon. Neither are most of the people who own shares in American business. Three out of four of all share owners are in families which make less than $10,000 a year. But my raise was only $60 a month. Well, the monthly investment plan is specifically designed for anyone who wants to invest in common or preferred stocks on a pay-as-you-go basis. You can invest from $40 up to $1,000 every month or every three months under MIP. So why not visit a member firm of the New York Stock Exchange and get some practical advice on how to own a share in American business? And, uh, Mr. Finchley, before you invest, investigate. Yeah, invest. Just think, with 60 bucks a month, I could... Just a moment, sir, if you please. You look like the kind of a pigeon, uh, 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 man of judgment who knows how to invest his money wisely. Uh, 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 won't you step into my office, please? Uh, let me give you a hot tip of the strictly confidential. For a limited time only, we are offering to discriminating buyers like yourself a few shares in a world-famous company with mines in Nigeria, Tasmania, Somaliland, and Brooklyn. It's... Utopium Unlimited. It glows in the dark. Small investment, big profit. As a special favor, I'll let you have 100 shares for only 40 cents a share. That comes to $40, plus, of course, $20 for putting you onto a surefire moneymaker. You are now a man of substance. Thank you, sir, and congratulations. Hey, you!
Mr. Finchley, there is a big difference between dealing with a fly-by-night operator and a reputable broker. Please sit down, Mr. Finchley. First, tell me, what are you going to sell me? Not a thing, Mr. Finchley. As members of the New York Stock Exchange, we are prepared to be of service to you if you want to buy or sell stocks or bonds. As you may know, the New York Stock Exchange is the nation's marketplace, where listed securities are bought and sold through brokers representing buyers and sellers. There are nearly 2,000 offices of member firms in the United States. Every day, member brokers buy and sell for their customers hundreds of thousands of shares of stock. For example, a doctor in Atlanta wants to buy some stock. A farmer in Spokane wants to sell his stock in the same company to get uh, cash, say, for a new tractor. The Atlanta broker for the buyer and the Spokane broker for the seller speed the orders to their exchange members on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. When the floor broker representing the buyer bids the price asked by the floor broker representing the seller, a transaction is made. When you sell securities on the New York Stock Exchange, you are paid in cash by the buyer. Every day, millions of dollars of listed securities are bought and sold on the New York Stock Exchange. You can check the price of your stock in a daily newspaper or by getting the latest market quotation from a member broker like myself. Well, uh, how do I get the facts before I invest? Before you'd buy stock in a company, you'd want to know, among other things, its record of sales, its earnings for previous years, what dividends it has paid, and its prospects for the future. Of course, we can't foretell the future, but we can give you many facts and figures to help you select a suitable stock. Well, how about this monthly investment plan? Maybe I'd want to invest only about $50 a month. Well, MIP was set up for people who want to buy stocks on a pay-as-you-go basis. And $50 a month can build up quite a little nest egg. Suppose you take a trial run along an imaginary investment route. You might select a stock selling for $100 a share. But let's say you invest $50 each month in a stock selling for $20 a share. At this price, your $50 buys almost two and a half shares and also pays the broker's commission. If the price of your stock drops, you all get discouraged. Providing you believe the long range price trend will be upward. Of course, you can sell at any time. But if you sell here, you lose on stock that cost you more than $15 a share. In addition, you'll have to pay the broker's commission on the sale. If you decide to continue the plan, your fixed monthly payment of $50 buys three and a fraction shares of stock at $15 a share. Say you continue to invest over a period of months and your stock goes up to $27 a share. If you sell here, you'll have a profit on the shares that cost you less than $27. Your $50 monthly payment buys one and a fraction shares of stock at the price of $27 a share. Of course, the price of a stock can go down as well as up. But with a long-range monthly investment plan, your $50 a month buys more shares when the price is low fewer shares when the price is high, to average out the price of all the stock you purchase. You can quit the plan at any time, Mr. Finchley, and take the shares you have purchased. But the idea of the monthly investment plan is to invest every month on a long-range basis in the stock of a company that you think will have good earnings and pay dividends. Take, for example, a company whose stock is selling at $20 a share. If that company, over the past year, paid out a dollar a share, the dividend yield comes to 5%. You can keep the cash, or if you wish, the dividends can be automatically reinvested for you. Now, the investment route you're traveling is a good one, because the stock has paid satisfactory dividends. 
that even with its ups and downs, the long range price trend has been upwards. Hmm, looks pretty good. Thank you. But before I invest, I'm going to study the facts myself. That's right, Mr. Finchley. All investors should study the facts carefully before they buy any stock. And remember, the monthly investment plan is designed especially for people who want to invest as little as $40 or $50, as well as for those who want to invest up to $1,000 every month or every three months. There are many promising investment routes to travel. Many companies whose stocks are listed on the New York Stock Exchange have helped to build our rising standard of living by constantly creating new jobs, services, and products. Therefore, Mr. Finchley and all those who can assume the risk of seeking dividends and profits can put their dollars to work by owning their share of American business through the monthly investment plan.